Hi there and welcome to the workshop. As you can see, it's not quite set up yet. I've got some very basic tools. But anyway, we're in the new shop and it's time to work on another project. This will be the first project that I'm starting in this new place. For those of you that don't know, I've recently relocated countries. So all of my tools and all of my stuff is on a ship somewhere in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. So it's time to start on the next project. And you might be wondering, why is there a crib in my workshop and a baby? Well, the baby is getting too large for the crib. Stay there. Now, because he's getting too big, he needs a bed. And because I'm too cheap to buy one, I'm going to make one. We're going to be doing this with hand tools for the most part. Um, we'll see what we can do. We've got a design in mind, but that'll probably change too. And the other reason is this is the youngest. There are two children, two boys, and I want to make the beds the same. So instead of building a bed when he got into a big bed, I decided to just use my old bed, which I had on hand. But now it is time, and I've been putting it off long enough to create a set of beds for them. We're going to go ahead and try and get that made over the next couple months. Weeks, days, we'll see how long it takes. Hey! Seriously? about three months since I started cutting these pieces out. As you can tell, I'm on a workbench now. All of my stuff has arrived. We have my tools, we have my workbench, but we are now in full swing. We've got the holidays out of the way, we've got traveling out of the way, we've got the family visits out of the way. It is now time to focus on getting this. My son is not getting any smaller and he's still sleeping on the floor. We need to get him into a bed. So, you may be wondering, how are we going to do these joints? I ended up going with a um, dado joint, so it's going to look something like that in profile. And what that means is it should be really strong, it should be visually appealing, it should be simple enough for me to do it. So, we're going to do this old school. I already have some hand tools and we're going to do, use some old ones that I had from a previous project. The one I didn't have was a widow's tooth plane. I believe that's what it's called. Or a hound's tooth plane? A tooth plane. Um, and so this is my new toy. And this will hopefully be my new friend for helping get perfect cuts. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. And I'm excited because I've been waiting and wanting to get this done for my son. I've been wanting to get out here and work in the workshop. Let's get into it. Hopefully the next time we chat, I will have some assembly taking place. Or there'll be tears and blood and sweat on the floor. Either way, let's get on this.
have the first joint done, not too shabby. Just one small issue. It's actually supposed to be um, like that. Ha! So, this is my second practice run. Um, this piece of wood is now not much good to me. Thankfully, quick run to the hardware store. We've got some more wood. Lesson learned, make sure you measure it three, four, five times, and we'll go ahead and try it again. Alrighty, we have all eight of our pieces now with the notches cut out. We need to cut a groove in between these two points. So we've been doing a little bit of experimenting with a couple of different techniques. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this old tool here. So this is a plow plane. So we have 16 pieces and let's go ahead and get to it. We can start assembling the frame now. Um, gonna need some more space for that. And we're gonna start cutting out the slats that are gonna go in the middle. I had to, after much deliberation, I decided we're gonna go horizontal. Um, seems to give a more elegant look, even though originally I was planning for vertical. However, that does make one bit of life easier for me in that I can just cut all these pieces to the same length and then I'll just slot them in. So we're gonna assemble everything with just some regular wood glue. We're gonna sand it as needed um, and then probably sand it all once it's all glued. And here we go.
We've now finished most of the assembly. Um, I need to work a little bit more on cleaning up so I don't have to do as much sanding. But here we are, we're here now, so now we're ready to do the finishing. What we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be trialing something I've never done before. Um, I'm going to use a timber primer mixed with the stain. I'm going to try and apply that in one even coat. In the past, I've had issues with the stain being blotchy and uneven. I'm hoping this technique will prevent that and we'll get a nice even coverage. Um, I had some practice pieces that it seemed to work pretty well on. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get to it. Here we are finished, finally. This is definitely one of the bigger projects I've undertaken. Tackling both beds at the same time had a lot of pluses and a lot of minuses. The pluses included I could industrialize the process, I could just do one process and over and over again. The downside was is when I got to the things like the sanding and the staining and the varnishing, there's a lot of wood and a lot of work going into that and it just gets very repetitive. Overall, I'm happy with how they turned out. I'm happy with the design. I'm happy with the layout I've gone for. Uh, it's probably not the strongest of designs, but there's definitely a lot of options for me to go back in later on and tighten it up and put in some dowels if I need to re-glue it. So I'm not too worried there. So first thing I want to talk about is doing this with hand tools. So it definitely took me a lot longer to do it with the hand tools, but if you have the right hand tools, it's not that bad. Having that router plane from Veritas was awesome that thing was great loved it this project allowed me to purchase that so i'm up having that tool now that tool will allow me to do a lot of things very very quickly and very easily and very accurately that was definitely one of the best purchases of this project and learning to use that tool was especially fun um, nothing makes those nice perfect curls like that tool and it was just a super good laugh creating that Probably my biggest disappointment with myself is just that overall finishing. I was happy with my technique I tried using the conditioner slash primer mixed with the stain. It got a really even coat. However, I didn't do a good enough job cleaning up the glue and sanding afterwards. But overall, the boys are happy, the kids are happy, the family's happy. They're done. There's lots of storage space underneath. They seem solid enough. If you're interested in more of these builds, go ahead and subscribe to the channel or check out craftybeetroot.com. Thank you.